Hey guys, it's Kevin again, and this is going to be my review for Turn Season 1, Episode 7, um, Mercy Moment Murder, Mercy Moment Murder Measure, and this was the best episode of the season, by far, um, I mean, seriously, this episode was just amazing, I, it, what I love was that it was really unpredictable, I did not know what was going to happen in this episode, I thought they were going to kill off somebody in this episode, but that did not happen. I just, I really liked this episode. I liked everybody's part in it. My only complaint is, let me just say, you know how they do the previously on turn? We saw two scenes in turn that haven't even happened yet in the previously section, and they did not happen in this episode. So, I'm just like, that was weird. Seriously, we had two scenes that did not happen in this show yet, and it was just weird that they did that. I've never really seen a show do that before. Uh, but whatever. Uh, let's get to the review. I mean, let's get to uh, the episode. Because I really enjoyed it. So, we first see Robert Rogers. He visits the prison ship HMS Jersey, and he asks for Samuel Tolomage after discovering that Samuel died of dentistry, and he asks to speak with the prisoner who knew Samuel best. The warden brings in Sheila Strawn, who Jordan instantly recognizes. So, Caleb then pays Abe a surprise visit at Woodhull Farm. Yes, Caleb is back, and he has decided to come to visit at the farm. <clears throat> so, Caleb notes it's been two months since a Abe's last report, and Abe tells him he's had trouble getting into New York because of the restriction and uh, or on solo, travelers, um, solo travelers entering the city. Caleb then gives Abe a code book to encrypt... Um, to encrypt his intelligence reports and mentions that Abe now has an alias. You know, his alias is Mr. Culpepper. He has to be Mr. Culpepper. And, uh, Abe says, I hate it. He's surprised to hear the alias was picked by Washington, which, by the way, George Washington, not in the episode. Um, I was surprised, but he wasn't on the episode. Um, he's only mentioned. <clears throat> so, Abe does not like his alias. He doesn't want to be a part of it. He thinks it's a terrible um, alias, and I think, you know, the thing is, you really don't have control over it. It's your alias, and you chose to do this spy thing. You know, you chose to do this spy thing, so you have no choice but to go under that uh, alias. So, I mean, seriously, you have no choice but to do it. So, at the Setucket Church, um, Hewlett and Richard address citizen grievances. Anna seeks patrol for Sela and accuses Richard of forcing a confession so he could claim and sell Sela's land. Richard denies Anna's request. Sela gobbles down some food and, and tells Rogers he knows Samuel and Ben his entire life. Rogers asks Sela if he likes to go home, and Ensign Baker delivers a package to Anna at Strawn Tavern, which she's been forced to sell to Marishin Dijon, who Anna then gives Sirico, you know, that is um, Abigail's son, you know, the one that can read, the one that she doesn't know can read, you know, she has to keep that secret, um, she doesn't know that yet, she gives him the package that was sent by John Andre, which he's not in the episode either, which, you know, I really don't care, I don't like John Andre, uh, it contains a birthday hat that Abigail knit, Abigail not in the episode, unfortunately, I liked Abigail, but she wasn't in the episode, <laughs> Abe stops by the tavern, and Anna's taken aback when he tells her that he's going back to New York to sell her cauliflower crop in New York, and he asks if she'll accompany him, posing as his wife, so that he can get through checkpoints. He wants to go to New York, and that's what that's just what he wants to do this episode. So, she's very taken aback by this, because she doesn't really know what she should do here. You know, she's helping a lot of different people. She's helping Abe, but she also wants to help Sirico. She wants to make sure Sirico is safe, because... That was Abigail's request, to make sure that Sirico is being left in good hands. And Anna wants to help Abigail, obviously, so she wants to keep Sirico safe. So, I mean, it's a pretty big thing there with Anna. I was glad that she was back in this episode. So Abe stopped... Okay, I just read that. Sirico gives Anna a note that Abigail hid in the hat, and it says, Simcoe alive. Returns to tuck it this, mor this Monday. Abe angrily asks why Simcoe's alive, despite what Caleb told him. Yes, Abe finally found out that Simcoe's alive, and I just thought this was great, because I actually forgot about the whole thing with Anna lying to him about it, but, you know, now he finally found out about it, and I thought it was a great reveal, you know, the way that he found out. Um, Anna admits she covered up Simcoe's escape so that Abe would stay loyal to the cause. Um, so he's kind of upset about this. So then Simcoe steps off the boat in Setucket, heads straight to, um... Strawn Tavern. However, Baker flags him down and tells him to report to Hewlett. 
So at Whitehall, Simcoe tells Hewlett that his captors hailed from um, Setucket um, and seeks permission to conduct an inquiry into the Ptolemage and Brewster families. Hewlett agrees, but warns him to treat lightly. We must show these people that we are better than the rebels. Um, you know, that, that's pretty interesting. So Mary looks for Abe at Woodhull Farm, notices new silverware on the table, and Baker reluctantly tells her it was a gift from Anna when produced. He admits he saw Anna with Abe on Epiphany, and Mary cries. So that's a pretty big thing because, you know, Mary's starting to get a little bit jealous of this episode, which I do like. You know, Mary starts to think maybe uh, Anna and Abe are having an affair. That's, I think that's what she's starting to think in this episode, and I definitely thought it was pretty big. Um... Simcoe corners Baker, demands to know what he said to upset Mary. Um, you know, he tries to, he wants to know what he said. And Abe meets Anna in the tavern cell, proposes that they kill Simcoe in a fake robbery. She dismisses this, she dismisses the plan saying, no, Abe, you're not a killer and you're not going to kill anyone. It's not going to work out for you. I think Abe is, I think Anna's really concerned for Abe's safety because really Simcoe seems like he's undefeatable at this point. He really does. He, I feel like he's stronger than Abe. Abe is Let's look at Abe. He's constantly getting beaten up, which he gets beaten up again in this episode, which I'll talk about, but he's constantly getting beaten up. He's constantly getting shit on, and Simcoe seems like a very powerful guy. So I think Anna's not only concerned about what's good for Simcoe and, you know, what's good for them to do, but also Abe's safety. I think that's what she's concerned about as well. So she shuts down that idea right away. So Mary asks Richard to arrange a pardon for Sela in the hopes that his return will temper feelings between Abe and Anna. Finally, Mary decides to talk to Richard, which I thought was great, because we finally had that whole conversation with Anna and Mary, and she said, go talk to Richard, and she finally does. So she asks if it's true that Abe and Anna were once engaged, and Richard reassures her that Anna was just a childish infatuation for Abe. So basically, they weren't engaged. Anna lied to Mary. Anna stretched the truth, and I think Anna just said that to, like, intimidate Mary. So, I mean, that was not true, what Anna said. So I thought that was actually a really big thing, um, because I just thought that was a really big thing, and I was very surprised by that whole reveal, so that we found out that it wasn't, uh, you know, that they were not engaged. So I definitely thought that was interesting. So in the woods, Simcoe attacks Abe. Here's where the episode just gets awesome. It gets awesome here. In the woods, Simcoe attacks Abe for forcing himself on Anna at Christmas. And he's just, he's beating him up. You know, he's cooking him. He's punching him. It's it's really intense. Much like Abe got shot last week, he keeps getting hurt. I don't know why. They, they keep wanting Abe to get hurt um, in this episode, but... Basically, he he um he's being rescued. Baker rescues Abe from a severe beating, and you know Simcoe's really upset with Abe because he did um you know make basically uh, kiss Anna on Christmas, which Mary does not know about. By the way, in the promo, we got a scene of that that hasn't aired yet, where Mary saw them, and that did not happen yet, obviously. So, at Washington headquarters, Ben receives a message that his brother Samuel has been pardoned and is being released from the HMS New Jersey. Ben rejoices over the news that Samuel's alive with Caleb, who offers to go pick Samuel up. So that's what he decides to do. So Simcoe and Abe are summoned to the church. Simcoe tells Hewlett he attacked Abe because he thought Abe had assaulted Anna, to Richard's dismay. Baker clarifies that Anna's dalliance with Abe was consensual, and Hewlett orders Abe and Simcoe to shake hands, but Abe refuses and storms out. You know, he does not want to make peace with Simcoe, because Simcoe is the enemy. Simcoe is the one they want to take down. Why the hell would he want to make peace with Simcoe? Seriously, that was the dumbest... Hewlett, what, what the fuck? Why would... Why would Abe want to make peace with Simcoe? That does not make any sense whatsoever, and just, like, whatever. Um, Simcoe follows Abe outside and privately proposes a duel, and Abe accepts. So they're gonna, like, have some sort of a duel. Um, so, at the tavern, Simcoe can corners Anna, who can barely conceal her ag ag agitation. Um, she asks Simcoe to help safeguard her honor, since she is still married, Simcoe misinterprets her request and says, Come down, she'll no longer need to fear advances from inbreeded farmers. So Anna races to Woodhull Farm to warn Abe of Simcoe's threat. Unable to find him, she learns from field hand that Abe had been shooting a scarecrow with a pistol. Wait a second. Did they just say Simcoe and Anna are married? I completely forgot about that, actually. Um, But 
I mean, it's a pretty big scene here because he's basically practicing killing Simcoe. He wants to kill Simcoe, and that's what he wants to do. So Anna wakes up Richard at, Wh at Whitehall. He tells her Sela will be pardoned as long as he doesn't challenge the attender. But Anna explains she's there for a different reason. The reason is, is that Abe is in danger. So here is just this. This was awesome. I thought this was great. At dawn, Abe meets Simcoe by the mill pond. Baker reads the jewel conditions, flips a coin, determine who will shoot first. Abe wins the toss. They stand back to back in preparation to walk off five paces. Simcoe whispers to Abe, she's mine. And, you know, Simcoe, that is his, Anna's his wife. So, I mean, there's really nothing Abe can do about that. But the big, I mean, it definitely is a really big thing there. So, Abe shoots and misses. Simcoe aims his pistol at, at Abe. And Richard and Anna arrive at the scene. Anna pleads and convinces and convinces Simcoe to misfire. You know, she tells him, don't shoot him. And, however, Abe reloads his pistol, aims it right at Simcoe, and I thought that Abe was going to kill Simcoe. However, he says, this is more about more than... And then, basically, before this can happen, Richard goes there, and he says, Abe, stop. This is more about you. This is about more than you. Um, basically, what he's saying is that you don't want to kill him. It's not the best idea. And Abe then pictures Thomas, Caleb, and Ben. He then looks at Anna. He lowers his gun and stalks off. That image, I think the reason he thought of them was because they're the people in his life that he most cares about. And I think that's why he saw them. Because he cares most about those specific people. And that's why he saw those people. So, then Jordan accompanies, um, Jordan accompanies Rogers through, so yeah, he did not kill Simcoe. I'm thinking though he will kill Simcoe eventually, but not yet. So Jordan accompanies Rogers through a field on their way to ambush Ben, who they presume will be coming to collect his brother. Yes, as I said, we are going to meet Ben's brother. And finally, they just talked about, I think we're going to meet Ben's brother in the next episode. I am really confident we are going to meet his brother. Because they've mentioned it so much in this episode that I think we have to see his brother at this point. We have to. We have three episodes left this season. We have to see his brother. Caleb rides his horse through the woods on the belief that he is collecting Samuel. And, uh, you know, that's what he thinks he's doing. He thinks he's collecting Samuel. So, the next day, Abe and Anna set off for New York to pick up Sela and sell the cauliflower. And Anna curtly tells Abe he should have killed Simcoe when he had the chance. He should have, he should have done it. Um, you know, she actually, she wanted him to kill Simcoe. You know, even though Richard stopped him, she wanted him to kill Simcoe. She was just concerned about his safety. That's what it was. You know, Abe thought that Richard was there to stop him. Richard wanted to stop him from doing it because obviously Richard's working with Simcoe. So, he's secretly working with Simcoe. Doesn't want Abe to know about that. So, I mean, that's why he wanted to stop him. But um, A Anna's telling him, you, you know, you had that chance. Why didn't you just kill him right then and there? And, you know, she wants him to. So, I'm thinking the next time that he sees Simcoe, he's going to kill him. He really is. Um, the very last scene, though, very, very interesting. Mary watches Abe and Anna leave together in a wagon, and a friend reassures Mary that the trip is purely business. But is it? Really, is that is it purely business? Because it, I feel like Anna's trying to steal Abe away from Mary. I'm starting to root for Mary more than Anna. I really do love Anna's character. I really do love her as a character, but I'm feeling, I feel like they want us to root for Mary more than Anna, but I'm, I'm still rooting for Anna. I think Anna's just a better character, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, a lot of really interesting stuff in this episode. I really, really enjoyed this episode. By far the best episode of the season. I mean, seriously, there were so many intense scenes. The whole thing with Simcoe and Abe, I mean, the tension was just heating up there. It was really amazing. Um, I thought that was fantastic. Um... So yeah, that was great, and I have a couple questions now. So now that Abe and now that Abe and Anna have gone to New York, do you think that Mary's gonna follow them there? Mary is getting very suspicious now. I'm thinking Mary's gonna follow them because say that I was okay. Say that I was Mary and I saw Abe and Anna. I know you know that they have kind of been sneaking around. You know that they've been talking a lot. You know that Anna stretched the truth and is basically trying to steal Abe from Mary. I would probably follow them, and I think that's what Mary's going to do. She's going to follow them there. 
Is Abe going to cheat on Mary? I don't know. Is there going to be... Is he going to have an affair with Anna? I don't really know. We'll have to see. Also, is Anna going to have an affair with Abe? Because, you know, she's married to Simcoe. So, that's pretty big. Is Abe going to kill Simcoe the next time he sees him? I really think he will take that opportunity and he will kill him. Because Anna said, you know, you had the opportunity. Why didn't you do it? I'm thinking the next time that Abe sees Simcoe, he's going to kill him. And that's going to be the season finale. Um... Are we going to meet Ben's brother? I really think we're close to that. I really think we are going to meet Ben's brother. And I'm really looking forward to seeing if we meet Ben's brother. Because I really think we're going to. And you know what? I'm really looking forward to that. Because I really liked um, I really liked that whole plot of meeting Ben's brother. I'm really hoping we see him in the next episode. Because they really... He tension's heating up, definitely. The tension's really heating up, I think. It really... As I said, this was the best episode of the season for many reasons. Also, is Anna, you know, Anna and Sirico. We did see scenes with Sirico. Is she going to find out the truth about Sirico? I think she will. She cares about Sirico. Um, if she does find out the truth, what will she do? We'll have to see. But that's it from my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, best episode of the season. I loved it. Um, uh, that's it from my review. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in my next video, which will be for Mad Men. So see you then. Bye.